Hey guys, it's Bevan. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about toys, and specifically toys that I wish existed. This is a part two of sorts because I did do this topic about a year and a half ago on my channel. Uh, I had to go back and re-watch that video today to see what I had covered to make sure nothing got recovered today. Uh, so let's discuss a couple of really cool toy lines I think would really work. If you watched my last video, which was a toy hunt video from a local toy show, you knew I was in the market for some Street Sharks figures. Cause I'm on a huge Street Sharks kick right now, watching the cartoon on YouTube. There's a, a great playlist that has every episode on it. But I also would love if a company today would like rebrand the street shark in a new action figure line uh, geared towards adults because we had these ones back when we were a kid but imagine how cool they could be if they were like sculpted and they weren't rubber and had the action features like imagine like a, a four horseman or a NECA or someone who has been doing all these different cartoon lines from the 80s and 90s, getting their hands on the Street Sharks license. Hey, Flash, stop looking at the carpet. And the other license that I wanted to talk about today that I wish had like action figures are the Disney princesses. Now, I can almost guarantee I am not the only guy who collects action figures that also loves Disney. Now, yes, Disney princesses have a lot of merchandise out there and a lot of toys in the toy aisle, but you know, they have, they have dolls and PVC little figurines like that and play sets and role playing stuff and like everything like that. They don't have like an action figure line, at least not that I'm aware of. Um, I want something where I can take like you know, like Belle and Poser on the shelf, or Elsa, Poser on the shelf. I know Elsa actually has, I think it's a Figma action figure, but I want something I can like walk into my local Walmart or Toys R Us and go to either the boy section or the girl section and find a whole series of Disney princesses. Like I'm talking like Elsa, Belle, uh, Pocahontas, Mulan, um, Merida, and obviously you can branch out to like the other Disney characters. They have a ton of amazing, amazing visually appealing villains and sidekicks and heroes they can throw in there too. The Disney mythology has is so rich and deep with a roster of characters that are begging to have like a posable action figure line. And speaking of mythology, I purposely used that word so I could segue into this one, because I think the Greek gods could use an action figure line. Imagine having a Zeus and a Hades and an Athena and an Apollo all like on your shelf doing epic godlike battle with one another. I mentioned the name earlier, and I think this would be a line that the Four Horsemen would just like dominate on. Um, what is that line they do now? I think it's called like Mythic Legends or something like that. Same kind of idea, where it's not like a licensed product, but it's just these amazing interpretations of character, of not, not characters, but of myths, and just taking the idea of what a Zeus could look like and sculpting it and putting it on my shelf. The same thing goes for aliens. Now I think back to my high school days when McFarlane was the top toy line out there and they had their line of dragons figures. Those dragons are beautiful and they still hold up today 10, 15, 20 years later, I forget when the line came out, but they've been around for a long time and that line was super successful and people still talk about it today. Now imagine if McFarlane did something along those lines, but with aliens from outer space. 
we know they have the chops to just take these ideas, these abstract ideas where there's no real source material and create 3D likenings of these abstract ideas. Because it's not like you can just go to the zoo and look at an alien in a somewhat natural habitat and and sculpt that like you could like a tiger or an elephant or something like that dragons the same way aliens the same way i could go for a seven inch scale alien series so i've talked about a couple of cartoon licenses i've talked about a couple of abstract ideas that aren't licensable at all in terms of the greek gods and the aliens and the last thing i wanted to talk about today is just like place fillers I'm surprised that there is not a line of toys out there for citizens to go on the shelf. I mean like police officers, um, firemen, people who work in the ambulance, paramedics, that's the word I want. Policemen, paramedics, firefighters. These kind of like first responders that you could use in like the background of an Avengers display or used for figure photography or something like that. I'm so surprised that there is not a company out there taking advantage of that kind of thing. Because I see customizers do it all the time on Instagram and stuff. But just imagine being able to like go out and buy like a four pack of different police officers to mix in to an Avengers shot for Instagram. I think it would work. That one's probably not one I would actually collect. I do do figure photography, uh, which you can follow me at Prairie Toy Photography, uh, but I'm not at that level yet where I'm doing large displays and I need filler characters for the background. I'm not there yet, maybe one day. Um, but I think the other lines here, uh, Street Sharks, Disney Princesses, Aliens, and Greek Gods, those would all be four action figure lines, I would 100% at least dabble in. Now I wanna hear from you guys, comment below, out of these five, what do you think would most appeal to you in terms of having a new collection on the shelf? Street Sharks, Disney Princesses, Greek Gods, Aliens, or like, Citizens. If you're new to the channel and you haven't hit subscribe yet, you might as well do that because you've just hung out with me for the last 10 minutes or so. Um, so hit the subscribe button, like the video if you enjoyed the content here, comment below, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Bevan Boychuk, and until next time folks, I will see you next time.